So your your father was a uh, was an entrepreneur. I think I think there was an interesting origin story for your interest in electronic engineering, right? So he he was an engineer, and I grew up on a street where all the dads, and there were dads back then on the street, were engineers. And I grew up, and uh, I built a handheld radio with my dad when I was a young girl, and I just sort of thought that that's what all girls did. <laughs> But I realized that that was not the case, but why shouldn't they? Why shouldn't they be passionate about making things and building things and designing things and, and inventing things and, you know, perhaps starting their own companies and being here at CES and growing a company? Those are exciting activities. So what are some good programs that you've seen uh, around the country that can help in that effort in the, uh, in the STEM for Girls? So the USPTO works with Invent Now, and we have this wonderful program called Camp Invention. And it's literally offered throughout all the 50 states. Um, some 100,000 plus kids sign up each summer for a one-week summer enrichment program. And we do particularly also target those from underprivileged backgrounds. And basically the kids, elementary school age school kids, are given a design project. And they have to go into a room, grab the materials, sketch out a design, prototype it, build it, test it, redesign, rebuild, and it has to achieve a goal. And you should see the excitement on those kids' face. I mean, this is not textbook learning of science. This is the kind of making and creating that probably served as the foundation for many of the inventors and entrepreneurs in this, at this conference. So really exciting the passion for making, creating, and inventing. And um, that's one program that we have a role, that we play a role in.